Today we are visiting a restaurant that offers an experience that diners won't soon forget. We are at Illis in Greenpoint. Mads, it is such an honor to meet you. You are such an incredible chef, but here we are at your dream restaurant, Illis. What makes this your dream? The dream was not really building a typical restaurant, it was more building one big giant kitchen. The best place to be in your home is actually in the kitchen, so why not just create one big open kitchen where everyone can sit in it. What do you hope that people feel when they walk into the restaurant for the first time? So we have a term in Danish, uh, in Denmark, called hygge, mm -hmm. and it means coziness. I feel that that's exactly when you come in here, you feel this hygge, and the fire pit is up and running, and like the smell of wood, uh, wood fire. Mm -hmm. You do get to start your restaurant experience on this block before you enter. Definitely. <laughs> you can smell that wood burning. Actually, talk to me about the grill. It's very large. I always loved cooking with fire. And it took us like two years to build this grill. But basically, the, the kitchen is split into two. One big grill station and the other one here is ice station. Speaking of fire and ice, that's really what the name means, right? It is, yeah. Danish words, il anis. We don't have a gas stove. We don't have induction burner. We, we're only using fire and then the ice is more untouched and something that is like very pure and clean. Well, I'm excited for the adventure today. You're gonna head into the kitchen with your amazing staff and let me sample some of the dishes. Yes, for sure. Every items we have on the menu, it can go two ways. It can go the ice way, like untouched almost, like Tata for example, or we can go on the, the fire way. Basically, we are doing a big, long tasting menu but you choose your own path. So if we have 12 ingredients in the basket, we have around 24 dishes on the menu. And do you literally bring a basket? We literally bring a basket. So essentially, the person that rolls it over walks you through it, and then you pick how many ingredients? At least four, but you can take as many as you want. Well, I'm gonna do chef's choice today. So you call this the clam flask? The clam, that, it looks like a flask. It does. Way. Over here we have Japanese potatoes and we cook them in beeswax. After 10 minutes we come down and we cut and we put caviar inside of it. Wow. Over here we have the antelope tartare and we serve it with a paste made up of black garlic and crickets. I don't think I've had antelope or crickets ever, so that was great. <laughs> don't be afraid. This is a little shrimp tartare. This is made out of ice. It's meant to be ice cold. And inside of this, we have the sweet shrimps. Oh my God, the flavor though. That is one of the dreamiest bites I've ever had in my entire life. That is otherworldly. We're getting down at this restaurant. That's incredible. I get it now. I mean, I obviously knew this was gonna be good, but wow, this is amazing. The last thing is aerated oak wood mousse. Aerated oak wood mousse. Is this supposed to melt like that? It's good, yeah. Oh yeah. What do you hope people feel when they walk out? They want to come back. Well, mission accomplished. Thank you so much, Chef. Thank you so much.